Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. This is my first time to ever be in New Hampshire. It's beautiful. Just outside of this forest, there is a legendary restaurant, maybe the most legendary restaurant in all of New Hampshire. It's called the Puritan Back Room. They invented the deep fried chicken tender. We're getting an exclusive look into the kitchen to see how they're made. Oh, hot, fresh batch. And then of course, I cannot wait to share with you the world's best chicken tenders. Oh, wow. I don't know, people love tenders. <laughs> That's the reason, you know. What would you say to people that have never been to Puritan Backroom before? They're missing out big time. So come and try a chicken tenders and you need to try a mudslide. Okay, <laughs> you're the best. Thank you. <laughs> Just loving this forest in New Hampshire. Okay, let's go. New Hampshire, so great to be here. Let's go eat some chicken tenders. The original chicken tenders. Here's one of my favorite quotes from boston.com. It says, New Hampshire politics revolve around these famous chicken tenders. Why the Puritan Backrooms chicken tenders are one thing Democrats and Republicans can both agree on. Oh, excited to be here the most famous legendary heritage restaurant in all of New Hampshire. They invented the chicken tenders. Whoever thinks that somebody invented chicken tenders, it feels like they've been here for all of our lives. <laughs> what I can tell you right now is that my excitement and anticipation for a chicken tender is at an all-time high. I've never been this excited in my life to try a chicken tender. Oh, and one more thing, a lot of American politicians have called this a cherished New Hampshire institution. That's the front, but the back room is in the back. <gasps> yes, there it is. It is the back room. I just love it when things are so simply stated that you don't even realize because it's so simple. Like back room, it's in the back. The front room is called Papa's room and the back room is the back room. Oh yeah, I can definitely smell the chicken tenders. Here we are, the back room. Oh, you come into this kind of like entranceway. Oh, I guess that's because of the cold weather winters. And so everybody say hello to Tula. Oh my goodness. And we, she's, Oh, immediately so friendly. And I love, she's telling us some stories about the Puritan back room here. Yeah. One of them is about Adam Sandler. Yes. We didn't know, he's from Manchester. From Manchester. He went and to Central High School. He went to Central High School. he's in Manchester, he comes in to have his chicken tenders. That's awesome. So that's very, and, So yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure it's tradition for him every time he's in Manchester. Every time. This is his first meal, this is his first his stop. Chicken tenders, it's correct. a landmark. Yes, exactly. That's a landmark. That's so cool. He worked here as a teenager, yeah. What did he do? That's incredible, uh, too. I, I don't even know. Actually, Is he in the ice cream? At the takeout, at the, the, yeah, at the ice cream place, yeah. You know, he probably scooped some ice cream. You know. <laughs> That's awesome. Know. Shout out to Adam Sandler. Shout out to Adam Sandler. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Kilo is also mentioning that there are some such dedicated, loyal customers, customers mm -hmm. that they come in every single day. Every, every single, single day. day. And we appreciate them very much. That's yeah. incredible. That's like said, ultimate people, loyalty, yeah. Absolutely. So also Puritan Backroom does have Greek roots, right? Yes, of course. Yes. Okay, so the, yeah. the, Chris the Pappas is the fourth, founder fourth was... generation. Actually, okay. there's the founders right there. Those are the four, five people that you see on the picture. So cool. You might take it. Yeah, they're started in 1917. 1917. So, and it's still family run, uh, family yeah, fourth, operated, fourth family owned, yeah. fourth generation. So, I'm very I, proud and I love this place that. before we've even tried the food. Absolutely, absolutely. It's a it's landmark, the like best you said. Yep. Tenders in the world, and our yep. frozen mudslides. Oh mud yeah. Mudslides are the best. Okay, we got to try that too. The James Beard Award is the restaurant you know about. I it. do. Award 2020 America's <laughs> Classics. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, Wait, can you say that again? Yes, Five restaurants in America got this award? Yes, yeah. You know, the James Beard Award is... is of course. It's, it's, oh, like yeah. getting, it's like getting the Oscars that, that, you know, when you're an actor. I mean, it yep. doesn't get any better than that. It's the Michelin yep. stars of America. And five restaurants in America our, received this award, Oscar. including Oscar, yeah. the Puritan Backroom. Oh, there we go. So good. I love this place. Yeah.
hanging out with Moses in the kitchen who's gonna show us how to make the legendary chicken tenders. Also, the chicken is marinated first. Yeah. Moses, how long have you been here? 36 years. 36 years. Yeah. It's a long time. That's awesome. Directly into the deep fryer. Boom. How long do they fry for? How long? Three, four minutes, okay. Mm -hmm. When this big, a little more time. When this is small, okay. a little more fast. It's all depends. All right. Take it, take it. Yeah, right here. Any range? Perfectly golden. Almost. Almost. Ah, okay, so it's just by experience. I love how you don't have an exact time, it's just by experience. He knows is they're done. Oh yeah. Almost. This depends, you know, when it's the tender is a little big. Yeah. Okay. To a little more longer to cook inside. Okay. You know. Nice. Wow. Golden. Take it here. Wow. The actual tender, right? It's part of the chicken breast, but it's kind of like that bottom flap of the chicken breast. Yes. It's a natural piece. It's a, the, the chicken tender is an actual piece of the breast. It's a cut. So from what I've read is that a lot of restaurants these days, when they serve chicken tenders, they don't actually serve the tender. It's more like a different parts of the chicken or the breast that they slice up. But here is the real tenders, the tenderloin, which is actually the tenderloin of the chicken breast. Something I love is that you don't just set a timer. You, you cook it by experience. You know, every batch, every batch you cook by experience you see you check to see when they're done you don't overcook them even at a restaurant this big that's you're cooking reason. by experience and that's so cool but that's and the reason uh, the tender is uh, the best and yeah for sure and the answer. for sure they remain juicy yeah. and hand fried yep and like like moses said every batch is a little bit different because every tender is a little bit different Oh uh, yeah, undercooked. undercooked. I was reading a little bit about how many, how many pounds of chicken tenders do you serve here? Per, do you remember? I think depends. it was thousand pounds, thousands of pounds a week. Well, that's no, 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 no. Just only on the weekends, almost like two thousand. Almost on the weekends, two thousand pounds yeah, of chicken yeah. tenders. Two Saturdays ago, just lunch time from ten to one thirty. Almost 500 pounds. <laughs> it's so it can be like maybe almost a thousand pounds a day, probably. Almost. Yeah, almost. It's, uh, people love On average. I don't know. People love tenders. <laughs> Thank you, Moses. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Take off the excess oil. And world's best chicken tenders ready. Oh, hot, fresh batch. I can't wait to try it. Gonna slide on into this booth. And another thing that I've noticed is that everybody who walks in here, and we, hear, we came here right as they opened, so it's some of the regulars and loyals who have come in so far, they just treat them like family. They know them by name. And that even for a massive restaurant, this is a huge restaurant, it's not just like a, a two-table restaurant. Very good, thank you. One Spanakopita, one Greek salad, 
And you have lamb kebabs? Yes. That'll be our... The lamb kebab, how would you like it cooked? Medium rare? Rice and a span of coconut? Yes. Yes. Okay. Right. Perfect. All right. And then we also have the Hawaiian pizza and the buffalo wings coming up. Cool. Yep, sounds good. Right. You and Micah have already right started on a spaghetti and meatballs. How is that? Pasta and on top of meatballs. Oh, you got the buffalo wings. Hawaiian pizza, Ying. It's a lot. <laughs> Quickly before the tenders arrive and our other full order, Ying got some chicken wings, which look fantastic. I'm gonna try a chicken wing, and then we also got the Greek salad, which looks amazing, too. Quick dip. Oh, it's hot. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, chicken wings are amazing. Just maybe a, a dry rubber. It's a dry rub, I think, deep fried. A little bit, wow. I'm actually- How is everything? So delicious, <laughs> delicious. Like the spice on your wings. Yeah. yeah. They're really good. Really oh good. man, that's uh, I was not expecting anything that spicy yeah. in New Hampshire. Thank you. That's more spice than we've had all week long in New England so far. Yeah, we're mm. spice deprived. Mmm. Oh, what a, what a wing. Mm. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm saving myself for the tenders now. And then the Greek salad looks incredible, which I think is served to every person before your meal. A big slice of cheese on top. There's onions, a variety of lettuce. There's some tomatoes in here, and I love that pepper. Oh, and olives too. You can smell the, the tanginess of that dressing too. Mm. Oh, it's so good. The sourness of the dressing, the olive oil, a hint of a pepperiness to it. That's amazing, I love it. The perfect temperature too. Sure, chilled. I have to eat that pepper. Mm. Juicy, salty. Oh yeah, pretty salty, but so good. There it is. The chicken tenders, the legendary. Thank you very much. They're just spectacular to look at. It's just a bulging, overflowing plate. It's a mountain of chicken tenders and fries served on that plate. This is for one person, <laughs> supposedly. And then, as our waitress mentioned, it's served traditionally with duck sauce. Because usually in Asian cuisine, duck sauce is it's plum like a sauce. Plum sauce. It's, it's sweet. And it's sweet, yeah. And like I was mentioning outside, I have never been so excited in my life to eat a chicken tender. It's a beautiful texture. It's not too overly breaded. It's hot and fresh. You can tell it's crispy. And of course, it's real chicken. It's not a nugget. It's not processed chicken. The original chicken tender. Chicken tender. Oh, wow. It's like biting into a cloud. Oh, it's so tender. <laughs> mm. So light, so beautiful and cloud-like. It's almost fluffy in texture. Mm. You have to dip it in the, the duck sauce. Here we go. Mm. Oh, it's like a, it almost, it's almost a fruity, sweet, sauce that's not too overly sticky. And not it's, too sweet. And not too sweet. It's balanced. It's not goopy. Oh, it's wonderful. It's almost mm. like a like a coating, like a glaze. The tenderness of it will blow your taste buds. Almost mm. doesn't eat anything. But what I can say is these chicken tenders are the most tender tenders I've ever had without a doubt. I love that thin batter coating. They're fried to perfection. They're not overcooked. They're juicy, they're moist. I think it's everything you could possibly want in a chicken tender. Charlie Papa is the daddy of chicken tenders. <laughs> and then another thing that I would like to just mention is that, I mean, chicken tenders are awesome because it's real chicken, it's not processed. Like nuggets would be ground up. Who knows what they may or may not happen to a chicken nugget <laughs> along its journey to your mouth. But chicken tenders is a real piece of chicken. Before we move on to the broiled chicken tenders, Oh, yeah. 
Oh, the fries are amazing. Again, they're light and fluffy and so crispy. Ready for the broiled chicken tenders? Which are served in the special secret sauce, the Puritan Backroom special secret sauce. Should rehydrate it since it's been sitting here for a little while. Scoop that sauce over it. And so far, I think our, well, our server, she raved about the sauce. Oh, I think I got a tender and one. Wow. That's a massive tender. Mm. Oh, wow. The char. The smokiness of it. Mm. Mm. The tenders have this amazing smokiness from, I guess they're grilled first before, yeah, the sauce is just applied. I don't even know if I can pinpoint what that sauce is. It's kind of brothy. A little Asian as well. Almost Asian tasting, yeah. But maybe a little bit of soy sauce in there, maybe a reduction of chicken broth. And it has a balance of kind of a, a sweet, salty, glaze-like taste to it that you're gonna wanna just dunk your, and rehydrate your chicken tender into with every bite. This is gonna be the best way to do it, to apply the special sauce. I think I love that play between the, the special sauce and the smoke. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Almost has like a flavor of hot and sour soup. It looks like a massive pile of food, but it's, it goes down so easily the way they've cooked it. Well, the fries are amazing. They are really, really good. Those are... Look how golden they are. Yeah. Those are standout fries as well. Yeah, these are some of the better fries I've had in a long time. Mmm, crusty, crunchy exterior. They're reaching perfection on their fries, too. We're gonna part the, the tenders and move to the, the Greek food, spanakopata. Spinach, phyllo dough, and feta cheese makes up the spanakopata, which our waitress just mentioned that it's her favorite thing to eat here. On the whole menu. There must be 20 or so layers. Mm. Oh, it's good. There's so many layers that it just like melts together. And of course you've got some of the central layers, the interior layers, which are not crispy, but more like doughy. And then the further you go to the top or the bottom, it gets more crunchy and changes dimension and changes crispiness until you get to the top layer, which is just completely crispy. It's dessert time. Oh, and you <laughs> the original, just brought over. The original frozen mudslide. This is what Tula talked all about. It's made of Bailey's Irish cream, among a thousand other things. And apparently, Puritan sells more Bailey's than any other place in the country. In America. In America. What a statistic. The mudslide chocolate swirl. There's ice cream in here? Mm -hmm. There's ice cream in here. Bailey's. It's beautiful, really. It is, but quickly a baklava, baklava bite. I like the cloves sticking out of it. That is nice, strategically placed. I don't know if you're supposed to use a knife, but I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna. Oh, you got it, you had one, one cut. But it did, it is saucy. You can see the syrup dip, dip, dip. pouring out of it. Mm. Mm. Like oh. Explosion of flavor. The cinnamon and nutmeg in there, mm. the clove. The walnuts, mm -hmm. I believe walnuts, the syrup soaked phyllo. Very sweet, but very good. Mud pie chaser. Whoa. Oh, oh wait, another thing that she mentioned to us <laughs> oh. is that, Tula mentioned to us is that you're, they're only allowed to serve two per person. <laughs> Max. Max, that's <laughs> maximum. I just realized why. Original mudslide. Crazy. Wow, well, yeah. It's a milkshake, but chocolatey. You taste the coffee in the background. It's rich, it's sweet, it's unbelievably creamy. I'm moving back into the tenders now that we've tried everything. These tenders are something truly spectacular. Mm. Probably the best textured chicken tender you can ever find anywhere. Almost all politicians have eaten at this restaurant and when they eat here for the first time, they're always back the next year. Everyone from George W. Bush to Hillary Clinton. It's one of Hillary Clinton's favorite restaurants. And as Tula was telling us, Adam Sandler. 
And while the duck sauce is amazing, I'm thinking about trying some ketchup. Oh, I like it with ketchup too. The perfect tangy sweetness that goes great with fried food. I would say that everything is good. We've tried from the chicken wings to the kebabs to the the Greek layered phyllo. But these two chicken tender dishes, they're on the next level. Like without a doubt, you cannot go wrong with either one. And it almost depends on what mood you're in, whether you want the fried crispiness or the special sauce smokiness of the char broil. But you can't go wrong with the tenders. The chicken tender, it's, I mean, it was made for just perfectly fitting into your mouth without any alteration to the anatomy of a chicken. It was designed for eating. I will. Perfect bite-sized vehicle of chicken. Mm. It's almost hard to choose between, well, I mean, if you had to make a choice, which you don't, between the broiled special sauce and the fried. My only advice to you is to order them both. Final words. What, you want, what, you want say? Say, what would you say to people that have never been to Pier Tin Backroom before? They're missing out big time. So come and try a chicken tenders and you need to try a mudslide. Okay? You're the best. Thank you. <laughs> yes. That was perfect. Let's do it. My brother in law, oh, you want to take a picture? What, what, this what is, we're saying? on video. We're on video. Oh, Just want yeah? to say thank you so much oh, for your amazing welcome. hospitality. You're welcome. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> awesome. And I'm very, very proud of you. Thank you. Watch this guy. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> bye bye, guys. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Nice to meet you. That meal, oh, yeah, was even better. It exceeded my expectations and I'm entering, actually, I'm, well, I'm exiting the front room, not the back room, but directly to the ice cream walk-up counter service where we're gonna have our last, well, the last part of the story, the ice cream. Um, so we have purple cow, which is a very good frozen yogurt. Then we have a coffee Oreo. Chocolate. We have Charlie's Chocolate Factory, which is a double chocolate based ice cream with white chocolate chips and dark chocolate truffle. Nice. And then of course we have our traditional uh, mudslide, which is a coffee based ice cream with Bailey's flavoring and a fudge squirrel. All right, thank you very much. No problem. Have a great day. Beautiful. And here we go. Mudslide ice cream. This does look amazing. Homemade, Puritan backroom homemade ice cream. Mmm. Oh, that's delicious. Just like the chicken tenders and everything else, it's fluffy. Oh, it's so creamy. The pure taste of that swirl of chocolate and coffee. Rich, creamy. That is a total full body ice cream. Delicious. And without a doubt, that is the perfect way to end your meal at the Puritan Backroom. Mm. You can taste the quality. It's rich, huh? It's like full body. And that completes our meal at the Puritan Backroom. Truly a cherished New Hampshire institution, a gem, a place worth driving out of your way to come to for the chicken tenders, for, I love how it's still family run. And you can tell that just walking in from the friendly service. Thank you to Tula and all the staff for taking such great care of us, to the manager, the owner, the entire Papa family. It's a landmark, a landmark of a restaurant. And also always, as always, it's great fun to hang out with my friend, Jeffrey Marihue uh, from Santa Monica, who has heroic Italian. If you're ever in Santa Monica, go check out his restaurant and say hi to Jeffrey. And huge thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know if you have ever had the original chicken tenders or if you're planning now to come eat the original chicken tenders. Would love to hear from you. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Manchester, New Hampshire, and I will see you on the next video.